Well, welcome back to the Snowden walking path uh, where you left Darren and I last time at the head of the waterfalls and we just arrived up by the old stone bridge. So we've made it up to the uh, top of the falls here at this particular section and we're up at the famous old stone slab bridge and of course at any time of year late morning you're going to have one or two other people around so Darren's uh, having to be extremely patient as he's trying to get a shot of that bridge. Um, I've just been having a cup of coffee and enjoying the views to be honest. Uh, I'll might come back again at some point but I'm not really uh, not really feeling it at this spot just at the moment. One thing that I always make a point of doing when I'm out taking pictures is spending about at least 10 or 15 minutes doing absolutely nothing um, and apart from talking to you this is my 10 or 15 minutes on this particular day out. I got a lesson from an old water bailiff back when I was a teenager and I was just starting to do fly fishing. He said when you get to the river what you should do is just stop, hang back from the river and spend 10 or 15 minutes just watching the water because that'll tell you where the fish are. And I brought that forward to my photography. When I arrive somewhere I'm not, oh got to get the camera out, got to get the tripod set up. Very often what I'll do is spend 10 or 15 minutes just sitting and looking and enjoying the views and thinking and perhaps not thinking, just having a cup of coffee. And I think it's really important as a landscape photographer that you do try and slow down now and then when you're out and about. I know sometimes the light is brilliant, you want to catch it, sometimes there's just that perfect composition. But you know what I find is if you just slow down, take your time, you tend to get a better shot. So this is a bit of a lesson for anybody who's thinking about coming up into the mountains, how quickly the weather can change. This morning it was almost t-shirt weather just after dawn, temperature well into double figures. Now it's blown a bit of a gale and the temperature's dropped a huge amount. So bear that in mind if you're coming up here and you're thinking about t-shirt and flip-flops. Anyway, as we were coming back down from where we had our, our lunch break and a really nice chat and That'll be on Darren's video, not mine, because he bothered to film it and I didn't. So uh, get over there and have a look at what we had to say over lunch. As we're coming back down the path, we both spotted an identical shot. We're set up about, oh, can't be more than three feet apart. And it'll be quite interesting to see what we come up with here, because you could argue that if, if there's a, the right composition, we would both get the same composition. Sorry, I was distracted there as Darren nearly rolled down the mountain. <laughs> so what we've got here is a vista looking straight down the Watkin Path, back down Cum Llan to the derelict cottage and a quite famous conifer tree that um, I've actually attempted to shoot in the past and made a complete Horlix of. What kind of attracts the eye is the way the path runs down into the bottom of the valley and also the way the stream curves alongside it. Quite an interesting composition. Um, 
and what I'm doing with it is I'm right in at uh, I think let me just check so what I'm doing with it is I'm right in at about 50 60 millimeters something like that which you might think well that's not very much but bear in mind this is a micro four thirds so it's equivalent of something just past about 100 millimeters and what that's doing is getting me quite tight into the derelict and the tree on the left hand side of my composition now the way I see this composition working is that I'm probably going to crop the top and bottom off it and in fact almost to a square crop um, because there's quite a lot of foreground that I just don't need but if I come out any wider I lose the impact of the building and the tree and I don't want them to be minimized in it there's a bit of useless sky that isn't really doing very much but I do like the layering of the way that the sides of the valley uh, come in to the center of the image so I want to want to keep that in and I definitely want to keep the far ridge visible as a far ridge so that I'm showing the depth of the image but as I say it'll be interesting to see what Darren makes of it Well, if this was some sort of world record attempt for the slowest descent of Snowdon we'd be in Guinness Book of Records no trouble at all come next Christmas uh, we've moseyed down from where we had lunch we have stopped twice but each one of those stops has been about an hour because we just keep seeing new images all the time we were all packed up ready to head back down to the forest just now when suddenly Darren spots the clouds running across that have got some great texture in them so guess what the cameras come back out and a bunch more images get taken absolutely brilliant day out this is what it's all about Well, what a fantastic day out and huge thanks to Darren. Amazing company. Thank no, you very thank much, you. mate. Really appreciate your company. So uh, we've got some really good photos in the bag. We both had a great time and now we're off down the pub. <laughs> so what could be a better end to the day? And uh, I hope you've enjoyed coming along with us. And if you haven't done it yet, why not subscribe and join me next time? Cheers. <laughs>